So hello everyone. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdevia, uh, your educator on an academy. Today I am here to teach you a topic breast cancer. From breast cancer it is a huge topic on this YouTube special class. I am going to take a small portion of it. I will teach you the latest classification of breast cancer and I will teach you microscopy, gross and microscopy, the most important gross and microscopy of each type. So let me start without wasting time. Before coming on the classification and microscopy, you should understand the normal structure of the breast. So if you understand the normal breast structure, understanding microscopy is a fun for you. So let me tell you normal breast structure. We all know that breast is a modified skin appendage. It is functional in female during lactation, but it is rudimentary in males for always. For always in males, it is rudimentary. It has two, two components. Can you see the diagram of a breast here? You can see the diagram of breast. Yes, you can see the diagram of breast. I, I would like to draw one diagram for you to explain you. So this is the breast, this is the nipple of the breast and this is the diagram of the breast. So you can see the entire breast, the entire breast has multiple ductules inside it. These are the small, small ductules or SNI. So whole breast is made up of these ductules and SNI. These ductules and SNI opens in terminal ducts. These are known as terminal ducts, terminal ducts. All of them open, multiple terminal ducts opens, opens in lactational duct. This is one of the lactational ducts. So this happens throughout the breast. I'm drawing on, only in a portion. So this is this is lactational duct. So lactational duct opens in the nipple just before opening. It has a dilatation which is known as lactational sinus. Milk collects here and then it opens in the nipple. So it happens for all. So these are the terminal ducts. Ductules or SNI opens in terminal duct. Terminal duct open in lactational duct. Lactational duct opens in nipple, lactational sinus and lactational sinus opens in nipple. So this is how the whole breast is formed. This is the main, this is the main epithelial component. Now listen, listen, when multiple, again I am telling you, multiple ductules open in terminal duct, this is known as TDLU, terminal duct lobular unit. This is known as one TDLU. So TDLU is the functional unit of the breast. The functional, like the functional unit of the kidneys, glomerulus, functional unit of the lungs is SNI. So functional unit in the, in the breast is TDLU. You should know the full form, terminal duct lobular unit. Then so that is the terminal duct lobular unit. So that is one uh, of the TDLU, multiple ductules opening in one terminal duct. And multiple terminal ducts open in lacticiferous duct and lacticiferous ducts open in the nipple via lacticiferous sinus. So milk is formed for the baby during lactation inside the breast of the mother. Milk is formed inside these ductules. So these ductules are lined by cells. Let me draw the cells. Let me draw the cells. So these ductules are lined by double layered cells. Double layered. The inner layer is epithelial and outer layer is myoepithelial. All these ductules are bilayered. Inner is epithelial and outer is flattened myoepithelial. So all of them are bilayered. That is known as epithelial component. This is all epithelial component. That is ductules, then terminal ducts, then lacticiferous ducts, lacticiferous sinus. All this is epithelial component. The background, look at the background. Just a second. Okay. Oh, it is gone. So I will show you the background here. So look, look at the background. Yes, look at the background. Can you see the background here? The background is known as stroma. So in short, breast has two components, epithelial component and stromal component. You can see it here also, in this diagram also, beautiful diagram. Can you see the yellow colored stroma? It is basically fat. So the background is stroma, background is stroma. And apart from stroma, you can see these ductules. These are the ductules, multiple ductules opening in terminal duct. The terminal ducts are opening in lacticiferous duct. This is lacticiferous sinus and it is opening in the nipple. So milk is formed here. Milk is formed here in the ductules by the bilayer double lining. So milk will come to the terminal duct, then milk is coming in the lacticiferous duct, milk is collected in the sinus and when baby sucks the nipple of the mother, milk goes in the mouth of the baby. So this is how the whole process of lactation takes place. Have you got it? Have you got it? So this is the theory written. So entire breast is divided into 20, 20, almost 20 lobes. Lobes are divided into lobules. Each lobules contain multiple ductules. Ductules are small, small circular structures inside which, which are lined by bilayered and inside which milk is formed. And they open in terminal ducts. This is known as TDLU, the functional unit of the breast. That is terminal duct lobular unit. And they open in lacticiferous duct. Lacticiferous duct opens in lacticiferous sinus. Lacticiferous sinus opens ultimately in the nipple. So this is the whole process, how milk is formed and it is delivered ahead. So this is the same diagram showing, giving the same information. This is one TDLU you can see, I'm marking here. This is the TDLU, you can see. So let me zoom it out this diagram. Can you see these are ductules, one ductule, two ductule, three ductule, four. So multiple ductules which are opening in one terminal duct, 
this is one lobule you can say so this is one lobule or uh, this is one uh, ddlu and see the lining let me cut it out and show you the lining can you see this lining it is bilayered this is the inner layer inner layer of the cells of the ductus which is epithelial i am marking with red and this is the outer layer can you see the outer flattened cells here the outer flattened cells here so this is outer layer which is myoepithelial so epithelial is inner and myoepithelial or fibroblast is outer so all of them are bilayered so beautiful diagrams beautiful and all breast cancers occurs in epithelial component epithelial component not in stroma not in stroma background is stroma background is stroma so there are the two type of lining here also to see so can you see the inner lining let me show you the inner lining this is inner lining that is epithelial i'm marking with yellow and that is outer lining i'm marking with red the flattened cells here so inner and outer here also these are the inner and these are the outer so inner and outer bilayered inner and outer so inner inner lining epithelial component ka marker is ema you can you can highlight it using ema and outer ka marker is sma 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 or s100 these are the isc marker which which highlight particularly that layer so that is bilayered we got it so epithelial component and stromal component stroma is 90% epithelia is only 10% okay so that is stroma let me move ahead coming on breast cancer so that was the brief introduction about the anatomy of the breast about the anatomy and normal histology of the breast coming on breast cancer classification now breast cancers are of two types non invasive and invasive very important non invasive breast cancers also known as in situ because they are non invasive it is known as in situ carcinomas and the second are invasive so non invasive and invasive each of them again two two types ductal lobular ductal lobular what do you mean by ductal and lobular if carcinoma is involving a duct it is ductal if it is involving a lobule it is lobular what do you mean by that i will, I will explain you so see this diagram you now understand this diagram so it is a duct if carcinoma is involving a single duct it will be ductal if it is involving entire lobule multiple ducts which open in single td and single terminal duct if the carcinoma is involving entire lobule it is lobular so ductal lobular ductal lobular that is the meaning have you got it so see here one duct is involved see this diagram one duct tumor cells are traveling in one duct so this is ductal tumor cells involving the entire lobule entire lobule can you see entire multiple ducts opening in one uh, terminal duct so entire lobule is involved so this is lobular so this is ductal ductal type and this is lobular so you got the meaning of ductal and lobular i guess so let me explain you the meaning of non invasive and invasive now non invasive also known as in situ and the second is invasive ductal lobular to samajh gaya tumhe non invasive invasive samajhne ke liye can you see this is one of the duct please everyone concentrate on the screen i'm trying my best so this is the duct you can see this is the lumen of the duct let me talk about the lumen this is the lining inner lining epithelial inner is an epithelial outer is myoepithelial so this is the inner lining you can see the epithelial cells here you can see so first they undergo hyperplasia can you see the cells under become multi layered they are becoming more hyperplasia more multi layered they become dysplastic then so it is that dysplastic cells filling the cavity filling the lumen dysplastic cells these are tumor cells but present within the cavity tumor cells are not coming out they are present within the cavity so it is known as non invasive or in situ so in situ is within the duct it is present within the tumor cells are present within the lumen of the duct they are not breaching and coming out in the stroma they are not yet coming out of the stroma so this is in situ but see the next diagram see here cells start coming out if you zoom it out here tumor cells are coming out they will come out in the stroma where they will come they will come here in the stroma they will come here in the stroma so this is known as invasive invasive and in between the two this is micro invasive so in non invasive and invasive non invasive have you got it the same diagram can you see this is a ductule this is a ductule and this is the lining this is the lining of the ductule lining epithelial cell and this is the lumen in the center these cells are normal they become dysplastic they become tumor cells so they fill the cavity so all the tumor cells are filling the cavity only they are not coming out so this is known as in situ in situ and when they breach the basement membrane and come out they are coming out in the stroma it is invasive so i i, I guess you got it so you got the meaning of non invasive in situ and invasive if non invasive occurring in duct it is ductal occurring in lobule it is lobular invasive occurring in duct it is ductal and occurring in lobule it is lobular so if you understand the meaning of all i will tell you four diagrams four microscopic pictures for each of them and in the end we will revise and compare them very beautifully i have explained it very easily so listen first talk about non invasive 
I will teach you ductal and lobular. Then I will jump on invasive. I will teach you ductal and lobular. Let's see. So let's start with non-invasive first. So non-invasive in in situ breast carcinoma, as I have told you, two types. So let's talk about ductal. Uh, one more thing. What is the short form of each of them? So this is known as in situ carcinoma. In situ, the, that is ductal carcinoma in situ. DCIS. This one is known as DCIS. This is lobular carcinoma in situ, known as LCIS. So these are standard short form. If I say DCIS, LCIS means I mean I, I mean these two. So DCIS is ductal carcinoma in C2. LCIS is lobular carcinoma in C2. And these are invasive carcinomas. Invasive carcinomas. So invasive ductal carcinoma IDC and invasive lobular carcinoma ILC. So the four tumors DCIS, LCIS, IDC, ILC. I will teach you one by one. Let me talk about DCIS first. The first I am starting is DCIS. Then I will teach you LCIS. पहले इन सी टू खत्म करेंगे स्टार्टिंग विद डीसीआईएस सी डीसीआईएस डीसीआईएस अबाउट 25 परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट विद डीसीआईएस कन्वर्ट इनटू मेलिग्नेंसी इन द नेक्स्ट 10 इयर्स लेट्स सी लेट्स सी दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. This is the diagram of DCIS. You can see the first four diagrams. Don't see the last one. Don't see the last one. See the first four. DCIS has four patterns. So this is a duct. This is the lumen of a duct filled with tumor cells. So tumor cells, if entirely filling the lumen, so it is known as solid pattern. See, tumor cells are entirely. This plastic tumor cells are filling the lumen of the duct entirely, pack to pack. This is solid pattern. In the second pattern, tumor cells are present at the periphery. They are present at the periphery and at the center there is necrosis. At the center there are no tumor cells, it is necrosis. It is known as comedo pattern. Comedo pattern. The third is papillary. Tumor cells are present in the form of papillae, finger-like projections. Can you see the finger-like projections? So tumor cells are arranged in the form of finger-like projections coming towards the lumen of the tongue. So it is known as papillary. And last is cribriform. The word cribriform means chhanni. You know, chai chhanni ki chhanni. So it is like chhanni. Small, small holes are there in between. So tumor is filling the cavity of the duct, uh, forming small, small holes or spaces in between. So this is known as cribriform. So tell me the four patterns. Who will help me with the four patterns? What are the four patterns? Yes, anyone among, among you? So this is the first pattern. This is second. This is third. And this is fourth. Okay, let me draw. So let me name them. So it is solid, the first one. Uh, comedo the second one, uh, comedo, then papillary, the third one, and cribriform, cribriform the fourth one. I will draw tumor cells inside them. So if tumor cells are filling whole cavity, whole, 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 whole cavity, it is solid. If tumor cells are present at the periphery and there is necrosis at the center, necrosis at the center, it is known as comedo. In papillary, tumor cells are present in the form of papillae. Tumor cells are arranged in the form of papillae. In tribriform, tumor cells are arranged forming holes in between. So out of these four patterns, the first two are high grade. That is solid and comedo. And papillary and tribriform are low grade. So DCIS is of two types. High grade DCIS, low grade DCIS. So these are the four patterns of DCIS. In each of them, tumor cells are within the duct. They are not coming out in the stroma. That's why it is known as in situ. But it is inside the duct. So it is ductal. So these are the four patterns of ductal. I hope you got it. I hope you got it. So in the diagram, you can see multiple ducts are there. All of them are showing solid pattern. Mostly it is solid pattern. So multiple ducts, there is no invasion. So you can see. So DCIS, the four types of DCIS, papillary, tribriform, solid and comedo. Out of these two are low grade, papillary and tribriform. Two are high grade, solid and comedo. So that is the thing. That is the summary till now. Coming on the next tumor, LCIS. LCIS, lobular carcinoma in C2. So if lobular carcinoma in C2 is present in any patient, about 25% uh, of them will convert into malignancy in the next 10 years and it is mostly bilateral. Bilaterality is and multicentricity is more common here. Let's see. Here only one pattern is there. The last one you can see. Here there are no four patterns like DCIS. This is the diagram of LCIS. Only one pattern that is solid. That is solid. All the tumor cells are arranged inside the ductule. In a solid form. You will say, ma'am, what is the difference between this and this then? Solid pattern of DCIS and solid pattern of LCS. There is difference. See the cells. Cells are more compactly packed in DCIS. In solid pattern. And here they are loosely arranged. Cells are far from each other. They are loosely, loosely arranged. In LCIS, they are loosely arranged. And it is a lobule. It is not a ductule. The main difference. It is a lobule. That's why LCIS. This is a ductule. That's why DCIS. This is a lobule. That's why LCIS. So these are the main differences. So here only one, one pattern is there. 
filling up the terminal ducts and lobules rather and the cells are uniform small round and they are loosely packed loosely cohesive loosely cohesive so that is the difference so we have done dcis we have done lcis we have done the two tumors non invasive ductal carcinoma in situ lobular carcinoma in situ that is both of them are non invasive type of breast malignancies see the age dcis occurs relatively older age LCIS occurs relatively younger age. Incidence wise, wise DCIS is more common. It is 5 to 10 percent. LCIS is less common, 2 to 5 per, 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 percent. Clinical signs, DCIS present with pain, mass and discharge, discharge from the nipple. Some whitish discharge will come or uh, transparent discharge will come. But here no symptoms will be there. On mammography, calcifications are seen in DCIS but nothing will be seen in LCIS. Multicentricity and bilaterality. I will explain you the meaning of multicentricity. Bilaterality means occurring in both breasts. If it is a left breast, in future it will occur in right also. If it is presenting first and right, in future it will occur in left also. So bilaterality is more common and multicentricity is more common in LCIS. These are not very common in DCIS. Very important MCQ. Please learn it. Both of them can convert into malignancy in future. Both of them are pre-malignant. So once the tumor cells breach the basement membrane, they will come in the stroma and they will be converted into malignancy. Here malignancy is ductal, here malignancy is lobular. So let's see. So we are done with the first two. Ductal carcinoma in C2, the four patterns. Solid, uh, comedo, papillary, cribriform. Lobular, only one pattern solid. And we know the differences between them. Coming on invasive carcinomas. I hope you are enjoying liking it. Yes. I am simplifying it as much as I can. So, invasive carcinomas, again two types, ductal, lobular, the two types, invasive. Let me talk about ductal first. Ductal. So, ductal carcinoma in situ, infiltrate, uh, sorry, invasive ductal carcinoma, IDC. So, I will talk about IDC and ILC. First, I will talk about IDC, invasive ductal carcinoma, then invasive lobular carcinoma. IDC is known as IDC NOS. NOS means not otherwise specified. So, the meaning of NOS is not otherwise specified. It is known as simple IDC. So, this is the diagram. What, what you can see in the diagram? What you can see in the diagram? I will explain you. Very easy. Very easy. Don't worry. I will explain you. So, can you see what it is? Someone can send, say, say what it is. You will see, ma'am, it is a DCIS in which in the center there is necrosis. It is comedo type of DCIS. Just now you have taught, taught us four type of DCIS. So, it is comedo type. Yes, you are right. What it is? What this structure is this? You will see, ma'am, again it is a DCIS, but it is solid type. It is solid type. So, comedo type of DCIS is seen. Solid type of DCIS is seen. Okay, got it. What these structures are? It is a normal normal duct, you will say. This is also a normal duct. Okay, got it. What these structures are? Who will tell me what are these structures? These one, these one, these one, these cells, individual cells, these one. So, you will say tumor cells from DCIS, comedo, solid, whatever DCIS is there. Tumor cells are infiltrating and coming in the stroma. See the background stroma. Again, I will show you. Okay. See, try to see the background stroma. So, this is all background stroma. So, tumor cells, tumor cells, I have marked the tumor cells here. Tumor cells are coming in the stroma and they are present individually also and they are present in clusters also. So, tumor cells coming in stroma present individually and in clusters. So, stromal invasion is there. They are leaving the ducts and coming in the stroma. So, that's why it is known as IDC. IDC. So, either the tumor cells are present in nest or pods or poorly formed structure or individual tumor cells are present in the stroma, in the stroma. So, that is IDC. So, this is the real diagram. You can see, you can see multiple DCIS and some of the tumor cells are infiltrating in the stroma, coming out of DCIS and present in the stroma. So, this is the diagram of IDC. Coming on the last, ILC. ILC, in, invasive lobular carcinoma, the last one. This is the diagram. Who will explain me this diagram? Who will help me in explaining this lesson? So, this is what it is and what it is. What are these two structures? You can say, ma'am, it is in C2. In C2, which in C2? It is lobular in C2. It is lobular in C2. So, just a second. It is lobular, uh, LCIS, lobular, because the cells are cohesive, na? loosely cohesive. It is solid pattern, but solid was one pattern. Tha. LCIS was one pattern. Tha. So, it is a lobule. And this LCIS cells from this are coming out in the stroma. See the background stroma. Try to see the background stroma. Again, I will show you. This is all background stroma. So, in this background stroma, can you see these cells? These cells are coming out, out of the LCIS and they are arranged. How they are arranged? Where are they arranged? They clusters or individually. Where are they arranged? One behind the other. So, in a row, in a line. Cells are typically arranged one behind the another in stroma. The cells which are present in stroma, they are typically present one behind the another. 
this pattern is known as indian file pattern indian file pattern means one behind the another can you see can you see this indian file pattern so it is one behind the another so c cells are showing indian file pattern please learn this for mcq indian file pattern one behind the another like a school row so uh, one behind the another so typical indian file arrangement is there so that was all about it that was now compare the two so this is idc idc you can see in invasive ductal carcinoma this is ilc invasive lobular carcinoma the two diagrams are in front of you so here just a second here you can see dcis comedo type and dcis solid type multiple types are there now here only one type of lcis that is solid so here you can see dcis here you can see lcis now cells from the dcis come out in the stroma and cells from the lcis come out in the stroma so making it invasive from in situ it got converted into invasive but here there is no particular pattern they are present in clusters individually here there is a particular pattern known as indian file pattern i tried my best if you got it it's good if you don't got it i don't know what to do so i tried my best anyways the tumor here the second one i am talking about ilc invasive lobular carcinoma there is a specialty it is usually bilateral and multicentric bilateral it occurs in both breast right and left so if the patient is having invasive lobular carcinoma in one of the breast ask the patient to do breast self examination at least once a month or more frequently to see the tumor in other also so that is the thing multicentricity ka matlab kya hota hai what do you mean by multicentric now there are two terms multifocal and multicentric you know we divide the breast this is a female let me draw a rough diagram sketch diagram this is the thorax of a female this is the sternum and these are the two breast these are the two breast right and left you can see breast is divided into four quadrants so these are the four quadrants both the breast are divided so this is inner inner quadrant present towards the sternum and this is outer outer quadrant presents laterally so these are outer quadrants and the two upper wale are upper and two niche wale are lower the two above are upper the two below are lower so the four quadrants in breast are you upper inner upper outer lower inner lower outer so this is how breast is divided into four quadrants why i am teaching you this uh, here why i have drawn this diagram uh, what is multifocal and multicentricity i want to teach you that yes okay so what is multifocal if the tumor is present multiple sides but in the same quadrant in the same it is known as multifocal and if the tumor is present multiple places but in different quadrants it is known as multicentric so the two terminologies are different i tried my best to so see the diagram of multiple focal multifocal all the tumors present in one quadrant multicentric tumor presents in different quadrants and the distance between them is more than 5 cm at least 5 cm done so multifocal and multicentric because here in multifocal we do staging only once of the largest tumor we will do the staging in multicentric we have to do staging separately so that is the reason you have to be sure enough done so let me revise the four types what are the four types dcis ductal carcinoma in c2 lcis lobular carcinoma in c2 both of them are non invasive or in c2 carcinoma then idc invasive ductal carcinoma and ilc invasive lobular carcinoma both of them are invasive so let me let me first revise the in situ carcinoma these are the in situ carcinomas so ductal in situ carcinomas are of four types the four types are in front of you solid comedo papillary and cribriform and lobular is only one type that is solid you know you know the differences between them and these are the diagram of id idc and ilc invasive lob lobular carcinoma invasive ductal carcinoma and both of them tumor cells are present in the stroma but in the first there is no peculiar pattern in the second there is a peculiar pattern known as indian file pattern tumor cells are present in stroma so that was all about these four types of tumors so these four types apart from these four the fifth tumor in the breast is paget disease paget disease is a malignancy it is a malignancy it is present in the breast paget disease of the nipple so what is paget disease of the nipple patient will come to you with eczematoid lesion over the nipple so nipple she is feeling itching she is feeling the, the, the female is feeling itching in the nipple area and she is having eczematoid lesion over the nipple so she feels it is a dermatological condition and she will run to a dermatologist she don't know she is having malignancy because inside the breast she can't feel any mass so what is actually happening what is actually happening let me draw a diagram so this is the breast of this female this is the nipple she and these are the ductules multiple ductules these are terminal ducts terminal ducts are opening in a lactiferous duct and lactiferous duct lactiferous sinus and it is opening in the nipple so actually what is happening here 
there is a small tumor inside small ductal tumor idc but it is very small to palpate so tumor cells are traveling around along the lactensiferous duct they are traveling they are not coming in the stroma they are traveling along traveling 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 they are coming in the nipple from the nipple they are entering in the skin skin in the skin we have epidermis and dermis so they are entering in the epidermis of the skin just a second sorry so they are entering in the epidermis of the skin and it is producing a itching and eczematoid lesion in the nipple so that is known as paget disease so patient is feeling she is having some itching and dermatological condition actually it is a hidden tumor inside so the same diagram showing here it is less favorable so the same diagram you can see this is the tumor tumor cells are traveling here the blue color along the lactiferous duct and these tumor cells are entering in the epidermis so this is epidermis these are tumor cells entering in the epidermis these are known as paget cells so paget cells are the tumor cells which entered in epidermis of the skin producing a eczematoid lesion there this is how it looks done so this is the thing tumor cells from underlying malignancy enter in lactiferous duct they go in the nipple they produce skin lesions there done should i proceed so patient presents with crusting and fissured and ulceration so patient is presenting like this patient is histologically if you see uh, you will see paget cell in the paget cells in the epidermis so that was all about paget disease so i tried my best i guess uh, i'm done i'm done with the classification classification and microscopy of breast cancer but breast cancer is a such a large topic if you want the complete breast cancer i advise you to install an academy learners app from the play store and go under neat pg category go under it is available for free so go under neat pg category there are two types of classes free classes and paid classes free classes are known as special classes so in special classes it is available it is available in special classes so all detail of breast cancer cover to cover is given there so just go there and you can watch the recordings you can watch live also you can watch recordings also the paid classes are of two types plus and iconic i will tell you the difference between them or else you can do what you can do you just install the anacademy app and search my name under the app my name is dr priyanka sachdev see the spelling just search my name you will get my profile link there just follow my profile link you will get my all free lectures together you need a code to unlock it the code is sachdev 10 s a c h d e v sachdev is my name priyanka sachdev sachdev 10 is the code just apply this code and watch my free recordings any lecture from patho pharma micro psm medicine you can watch any lecture many lectures on important topics are available there so these are the features of special free classes these are live interactive i will launch polls in between you can know your real time assessment ranking you can ask a question by raise a hand feature you will get notifications for the classes you will get notes also so please come on our platform and it is free and the plus one is the paid in plus one you will get access for live and recorded both lectures and uh, in uh, iconic along with uh, along with an academy lectures you will also get prep ladder recorded lectures so better to go with iconic if you are taking paid subscription or you can go with plus also so whatever is your wish these are the four new batches which are available on our platform on paid on paid plus subscription plus and iconic so fmg batch target next batch and neat pg analysis and fast track revision batch for the aspirants and there is a new neat pg one month package also available on the app the cost of is which, uh, which is only 4500 you will get additional 10% discount on it if you use my code suchdev10 so my code is suchdev10 please remember it in this one month package we will give you the revision of all 19 subjects high yielding points just before your exam so that is the and on the platform we also have a question bank the most updated clinical question based image based question a uh, question bank containing more than 25000 question there is a scholarship test today on the platform on 14th of august at 8 pm today uh, the test will be of 1 hour 50 questions which are numericals the winner will get 100% scholarship for plus so plus subscription will be free for you and rank 2 to 20 will get heavy discounts on the scholarship there are two more offers if you take a paid subscription for 12 month you will get two month additional if you take a paid subscription for four years either plus or iconic the cost is very cost uh, reasonable or cost effective it is only 60000 for plus and 75000 for iconic there is one more feature ask a doubt whatever doubt you are having just take the snapshot and post it under specific subject we will answer you on the app and we have a telegram channel also let's crack neat pg search it under telegram 
and just join the channel for getting notification. Please follow my profile link on an academy, Dr. Priyanka Sajde for getting notification. Remember the code is Sachdev10. S-A-C-H-D-E-V. Use this code for two purposes. If you are taking a paid subscription plus or iconic, you will get 10% discount if you apply it before payment. And if you want to watch my free classes, just apply this code while installing the app to unlock the free classes. To unlock my free classes. So that, that's all about it. Uh, see you on the app. Bye-bye.